looking the wrong way. Hey, I'm Bill Marion in North Carolina on the Blue Ridge Parkway, and this is a Nose for Life. It's nice to be back in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Did you know that the Smoky Mountain National Park is the most visited national park in all of these here United States of America? Guess where we're at? Blue Ridge Parkway, North Carolina, baby. So if you're a subscriber to A Nose for Life, you know that for the past year, we've been making a lot of videos about the Blue Ridge Parkway and the Virginia Skyline Drive, and of course the Blue Ridge Parkway almost exclusively in Virginia. But Carolyn and I fell in love with the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina. And when you're talking about the Blue Ridge Parkway, it's just a completely different experience in North Carolina. There are 26 tunnels on the Blue Ridge Parkway and 25 of them are in North Carolina. The Blue Ridge Parkway is like 470 miles of mountaintop serenity. It's amazing. But the idea that it's all the same, well, that is just not true. Every part of the Blue Ridge Parkway is a little different from the other. But when you're comparing different sections of the Blue Ridge Parkway and you compare Virginia and North Carolina, it's almost like daylight and dark. I mean, they are very, very different. You know, in Virginia, you have these vast valleys and these peaks, and it's very beautiful. In North Carolina, though, these are the highlands. They're high mountains, very tall, very majestic. And when you're on the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina, you're not only in the mountains the whole time, you don't see a whole lot of valley view. It's all views of other very large giant mountains. You're just surrounded by giants the whole time you're on the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina. What unifies the Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia with the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina is the landscaping and the architecture. That's what keeps the central theme, and that's why Stanley Abbott, the great architect of the Blue Ridge Parkway, that was his whole intent, is to unify the entire Blue Ridge Mountains with scenic vistas, with crescendos and decrescendos, and that was his whole plan, and boy, did he ever pull it off. I mean, this is amazing. If you start in Northern Virginia and you drive all the way down through North Carolina to the end of the Blue Ridge Parkway, you're just in for a treat. It's like riding on music. Now, if, again, if you're a subscriber, you've heard me say that a few times, but it bears saying again and again. By the way, if you are new to our channel, we want to welcome you and hope that you'll consider watching some of our other videos. And hey, if you like us, be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell for notifications.
almost 6,000 feet of elevation right now, and I'm not exaggerating, it's about 12 degrees cooler here, maybe 15 degrees cooler than down in the valley, which just cracks me up. I mean, of course we are, we're at a high elevation, but it just feels so good up here, and it's so beautiful, and the fragrance of everything that's blooming here on the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina, it's just awesome. But you know, it's like comparing apples to oranges when you're talking about the Virginia Skyline Drive or the Virginia part of the Blue Ridge Parkway and the North Carolina part of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Again, the Shenandoah Valley is absolutely awesome. And when you're up on the Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia and you're looking down on those huge valleys, it is breathtaking. And up here, you just get something completely different. That's why you have to visit all of the Blue Ridge Parkway because it's that amazing. And here's what I love about it. If you're here in this part of the South, it's hotter than blue blazes as we say down here in the summer. Time, but when you come up to the Blue Ridge Parkway, you could just about have pants on and long sleeves. I mean, it is that nice outside right now. Yes, we are at the highest point on the Blue Ridge Parkway, not just in North Carolina, but on the entire Blue Ridge Parkway, 6,053 feet. The sun's out, it's nice and cool up here, and the air is absolutely wonderful. It's just great being up here. One of the things that I love about the North Carolina side of the Blue Ridge Parkway is that every single corner and every single turn gives you a different aspect of the same mountains. I mean, every single corner. Now you could say that too about the Virginia Skyline Drive or the Virginia Blue Ridge Parkway, but the North Carolina part of the Blue Ridge Parkway seems to have a lot more look-offs. I mean, so you might have this vast mountain range that you're looking at, but have seven or eight different perspectives. And it's hard for me because I want to stop at every single look-off. And when we have time, that's exactly what we do and just enjoy the amazing view and the different perspectives of every single look-off. And that's amazing. So when you visit the parkway, whether it's here in North Carolina or in Virginia, be sure not to skip a look off and say, you know what, I've seen that one. Because the truth of the matter is, is that every single look off is going to offer you something just a little different. cases some people just don't get the parkway they just see it as a road and beautiful scenery and it's true there are other roads east of the Mississippi where you can find scenery very much like this back roads country roads but what makes the Blue Ridge Parkway are things like this rock wall you see what the Blue Ridge Parkway is is a marriage between landscaping architecture and mountain scenery that's the key when you think about the tunnels and all the craftsmanship it took to build the parkway it's just pretty awe-inspiring and amazing of course you guys have heard me talk about some of this before especially if you're a subscriber but here's the thing when you come to the Blue Ridge Parkway for different seasons and again we're here at the early part of summer late spring early summer everything is in bloom and so I've yet to find a season that isn't absolutely amazing on the parkway so yeah I know tunnels aren't exactly unusual they're all over the world but it's it's things like this
So I tried to get a room at the Pisgah Inn again and failed. Don't know what made me think I could just walk in to the Pisgah Inn and get a room. They did have one left. It was a queen, but we've got Crystal with us tonight, so that just wasn't going to cut it. I mean, I even tried to bribe the guy behind the counter. They're too honest. They wouldn't let me bribe him. They said no. Nope. And like in the five minutes it took me to walk out to the car and come back in, that room was gone too. So we're settling for eating at the Pisgah Inn. They've got a great restaurant and we're gonna check it out. So we're not exactly on Mount Pisgah. We're on the slopes of Mount Pisgah. This is called Flat Laurel Slope. It's at about 5,000 feet and Mount Pisgah is at just a little bit over 5,700 feet. So you're still at a real high level elevation here at Mount Pisgah Inn. You know, it really doesn't matter what the food tastes like because look at this view. A few weeks ago, I put out a video called The Peaks of Otter and you really need to check it out. And in that video, we're at the Peaks of Otter Lodge and we eat there too and the view was amazing. The food was good. Now it's a little pricier here at the Pisgah Inn. The view is amazing. It's a different kind of view. But remember that the Peaks of Otter Inn, this particular location, the Pisgah Inn, they're the only two lodges, the only two hotels even, that's right on the Blue Ridge Parkway. By the way, you can watch the Peaks of Otter video by clicking right here, or you can just wait to the end of this video and click on the link that I'll put at the end of this video. So one day, I will have me a room at the Pisgah Inn. One day, it's coming. They even have Wi-Fi here, like Wi-Fi. I mean, I could be going live tonight in the hotel room, showing you guys the view. The food was great. You're going to love it. I realize it may have been easy to just, just do the same tunnel over and over again. But no, I've actually gone through the painstaking process of videoing every tunnel that we're passing here in North Carolina on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And here's another one. You gotta be kidding me, like two back-to-back -back tunnels. I've been filming tunnels like all day. This tunnel bit was a good idea when it started. Oh, best laid plans of mice and men. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button. My name is Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life. Hey, if you have time, check out some of these other videos. Hit that subscribe button and get thunderstruck, baby.